What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to rip black and white video now discs. Um, first things first, you're going to head to this page. Um, I'll link it down below. You're going to download version 1.4 of uh, PVD tools. So I'm going to save it as so I don't uh, confuse it with other files that I have so you're going to open with 7-zip extract to and it should extract to uh, here it is you have the readme here and the release now what you're going to do is you're going to actually um, make an image file of your video now disk. So I'm going to pop mine in. You have to have a CD drive that has the the middle spindle or else it won't work because the disk won't fit. Um, and it's going to load up. Fuck off power DVD. Um, by the way, this was a request from like years ago. No, a month, months ago. I'm doing it for a user, so. I'm gonna copy just to image file, select that. I'm going to name it. Uh, Sponge Bill, cause it, cause it is a SpongeBob. Uh, PVD and you have to make sure it's a bin slash Q format. Um gonna go to my pictures. I don't know why I chose pictures, but this is kind of rushed. Uh release, save, create now. It's going to create an image file of the PVD, so um, it's gonna take a while. Okay, so it has finished. Now we're gonna hit exit, and you can eject your disk now. All right, place it up here. Um, now what you're going to do is you're gonna go into CMD, um, type in CD space, then you're going to go up top here, click, press Control C, go to your command prompt, Control V, and paste the uh, paste the folder in. Now you're in the folder, as you can see. Um, what we're going to do now is PVD tools, BW spinge bill dot bin, and now it's going to do its thing and now after it processed the audio it's going to the video part and as you can see it's in uh, these .pgm files those can only be opened with a program car called IR fan view which you could get for free um, so once this has finished i'll show you that oh by the way this does not work i tried it i tried modifying it as well it just doesn't want to work so yeah okay once it has finished processing the frames you're gonna go to ir fan view in this case, I have to run it as administrator, or else it won't work with the batch conversion process, which is right here. I'm gonna hit batch convert. You're gonna go to where your PGM files are. In this case, it's in pictures, PVD tools, release. You're going to select one, 
and then scroll all the way down, press shift, then the last frame. And it's going to take a while because it's going to select all the frames. Okay, so once all of the frames have been selected, you're going to hit add. And this will also take a while as well. Depends on your RAM, I guess. Okay, here is all of them. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to go and hit. Ah, oh, you son of a. PVD Tools Tutorial, BMP, click OK. This is your bitmap folder, make sure. Then you're gonna hit Start Batch. And it's gonna convert all of these to BPM, or BMP. So you can see, there's the video now logo. And I'm gonna make sure this is the right, cause last time I, yup, there it is. There's your SpongeBob. Now we're gonna wait for this to all convert and I'll be back. Okay. Now we're gonna exit the batch. Close out of IR fan view. And these are all of the files. Now, here comes the fun part. You're then going to open up virtual dub um let's open it up then you're gonna go to file open video file you're going to go to where your your ripped bpm bmps are um you're just gonna select one dot bmp hit open and as you can see here you go spongebob now, to add audio, what you're going to do is you're going to go to audio, audio, source audio from other file, and let's see, should be this one, hit open, and there you go. You have audio. Now you're going to go to um, video filters, add, and you're going to look for frame rate. Actually, it's not in there. Let me go to frame rate, and then you're going to change the video so the video and audio durations match. I'm going to hit OK, and uh, let's watch the opening sequence. <laughs> Now it literally looks like ass, but there are some ways you could actually um, make it better, but I don't know how at the moment, so. But yeah, that's how you do it. And all you have to do is go to File, Save as AVI, and you're good to go. So that concludes my tutorial on how to rip video now black and white discs, and I'll see you in the next one.